Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Freighter Oz again. And today, uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about some experiences that I had recently. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been pretty busy. Uh, I just started school and uh, I've been working on a project. I just completed a reading of Aleister Crowley's The Soul of the Desert that is about to be released on CD to benefit my local OTO body. Uh, additionally, the profits from my CD are also going to uh, the local OTO body now. Uh, I'll post a link, a couple of links in the sidebar where you guys can buy this stuff if you're interested. Uh, but I'm actually here to talk about some experiences that I had recently. Uh, there were some comments made on a forum that I'm a part of that led me to do an experiment with chapter 3 of the book of the law, the specifically uh, the verse that talks about the line and the circle squared. And I got some really interesting results, uh, numerical results that led me to go off on a complete, uh, just I, I spent 24 hours straight, stayed up all night going through uh, mathematical calculations going through the book of the law and all the riddles in the book of the law and attempting to come to some type of uh, a consistent solution which I was able to do uh, but I want to talk not specifically about my results because I feel like they kind of pertain probably only to me and they don't really expound any big revelation or anything like that that I've come up with. Uh, but after going through this experience, I thought it was kind of important to uh, speak to some of you guys who may have either had similar experiences or in the future may have similar experiences because uh, after talking to some people about it, uh, it seems like just about every thelemite at some point goes through this process where they find something that relates to them and and uh, then they go through the book of the law trying to solve all these riddles and a lot of them come up with solutions that seem you know valid in their eyes and in their mind now I, I'm personally of the belief you know uh, like a friend of mine mentioned that uh, he believes that all of these solutions are correct and valid and valid to specifically to the people who come to the conclusions or the solutions and I believe that and I think that this is where uh, some people tend to go off the deep end uh, and I have to admit that the the stuff that I found and the consistencies that I found uh, that seem to so specifically relate to me as an individual uh, definitely I can see how people do go off of the deep end with stuff like this. I mean, and I want to warn against that and say that, you know, this is something that we all go through at some point and that many of us do find these consistencies uh, and not always or pretty much never the same consistencies. Uh, and I think that that is kind of the beauty of these riddles within Libra Owl is that it just kind of proves that Libra Owl is individual, that it's for you just as it is for me. So you look into the book and you see something completely different than what I see. I mean, there may be parallels there, but the fact is that uh, if you go through and you try to work all these riddles and work all these uh, uh, what seem to be questions and, and uh, puzzles and you find consistencies others have found consistencies as well and different consistencies uh, for example uh, during my experiment that is still ongoing uh, uh, all of the riddles came out to the same number a number that was specifically uh, relevant to me and a friend of mine uh, sharing his experience his uh, similar experience with me uh, came to completely different conclusions and also involving things that were uh, specifically pertaining to him. And I believe that all of us may find things like this if we, if we go through this process or, you know, it's, it's not something that should be forced, but eventually uh, if, if, people, if someone sticks with this path, they will probably come to a point when this is 
what they you know what happens to them they're led to this path to this uh, experiment of their own with the book of the law now the important part as I've found uh, is not to go and say I've solved the, the book I have created the solution uh, not to be blinded by uh, these things that seem to pertain to oneself or these seeming consistencies within the book of the law because uh, that is in a way to me the purpose of the whole deal is for you to come to personal revelation so watch out for uh, for the ego. Watch out for the self and the idea of I and me getting involved when you uh, do things like this. Because you will undoubtedly meet with, uh, with ridicule and people who, you know, are going to label you as a nutbag, as a crazy. And... I have to admit, you know, even for someone such as myself who is very skeptical about such things, and I will be the first to say that I label these people as nutbags a lot of the time too, uh, and I've been, you know, involved in Thelema for a long time, and, and I've never gone through this type of uh, process until now, and I can definitely see how people can, uh, can misconstrue their results as something that is really significant. But think about this. If you are to do experiments and to find these consistencies, uh, you have to be aware of whether these consistencies and solutions, if you want to call them that, uh, make a big revelation of some kind. Do they actually solve something? Uh, perhaps, like in my case, you know, I was able to work all the riddles to my particular solution, but that solution doesn't make any big revelation it doesn't change anything uh, it doesn't uh, reveal some hidden knowledge that I do believe the book contains uh, it just doesn't all it does is demonstrate a consistency and demonstrate uh, the fact that the book relates directly to me for me but not for you not for anyone else uh, are the results interesting yes they're very interesting but they're for me and I kind of regret I actually sent the uh, results in a paper that I made up uh, to some others to take a look at it and you know although I wasn't ridiculed or anything like that because of the way that I presented the findings uh, I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that I kind of wish I would have kept it for myself because I feel like that it was for me uh, I did it for me and it came out to be specific to me so keep that in mind that if you have gone through this process of discovery or if you in the future go through this process of discovery to uh, keep your wits about you don't let it don't let it uh, blow your ego up don't let it uh, make you think that uh, you are something more special than anyone else because uh, you know, it's a sure ticket to crazy town, I promise you. It is a sure ticket to everyone who you tell thinking that you are crazy. And, you know, it, it, well, depending on how you package it, you know. I mean, uh, that's definitely true. If you, you know, like in, in the case of the things that I sent out, I, I was very careful to, to show that I wasn't trying to make any kind of grandiose claim. I just wanted to know if anyone else saw this consistency, and if so... Uh, if they saw that it related to anything uh, larger that I was missing uh, which they didn't and it's not surprising and I wasn't insulted by it in any way uh, in fact it helped to ground me because I was feeling myself slip a little bit I mean and I'm very careful I'm a very you know I tend to be very materialist in my views and very skeptical and, and it was hard to keep myself grounded especially for the first 24 hours while I was just engrossed in it uh, so be careful uh, do your experiments but be careful to uh, to realize that those experiments are your experiments and they're meant for you and unless they make some real true hidden knowledge and revelation known uh, you should probably keep them to yourself love is the law 
Love Under Will.